free ways to increase your beat store traffic all covered in today's video let's get into it youtube producer family what is good today i am answering one of the biggest questions i think producers always have how do i get more traffic to my beat store for free Let's answer that question today. Also, if you're new to the channel, I have an online free beat selling course. It's about a 35 minute video. It also includes a checklist that you can fill out and make a copy for yourself for like your beat store, YouTube, Instagram, email marketing kind of stuff. All the stuff that producers need to have on each different platform. I made a checklist so you can basically go and check it off. And I include video resources on how to set things up. Overall, it's a huge resource. That I think a lot of producers should be checking out. Now let's get into the video about traffic here is the sad truth about wanting free traffic if it's not going to cost you your money it is going to in fact cost you your time and of course you need to understand that your time in fact can be wasted so when coming into this you need to come into the mentality that you're not going to get the same amount of traffic that you can get for free compared to spending say $27 on Facebook ads and getting over a 20,000 person reach right you're not going to be able to get that for free in just you know a few days it's just not possible guys p.s if you do want to learn how to run facebook ads for one dollar a day to build up your audience of artists check out the producer prospect bundle below it's on the same video as the free course it also includes the other free gems i have used to make around 200 dollars within the first 15 days of december so i highly recommend you go check it out only 19 dollars and all the sales that I get from the producer prospect will be going towards actually getting me a new camera so I'm not recording on my iPhone anymore. But now, let's get back into the tips. The first thing I want to do is look at how most producers are getting their traffic and then we kind of work backwards and almost reverse it. There's two main platforms producers get most of the traffic from and you can probably guess them. These two main platforms are both YouTube and Instagram. What we need to do as producers then is take a look at YouTube and Instagram and think how can we optimize this and how can we make these perform better in terms of getting people onto our actual beat store slash website for our beat selling business. Tip number one, make engaging content, something that teaches people something, something that gives somebody value or something that entertains somebody or does all three. Well, Ryan, my beats are my content. No, your beats are not your content. Your beats are the product. In order to get the value out of your beats, an artist has to purchase a lease. That's why free for profit beats worked so well as the lead magnet, the lead offer, or basically the free offer to get somebody into your sales funnel as a producer. Artists get these free for profit use beats that they can put on to Spotify, they can put on to Apple Music and any other streaming service they want. And odds are they got to keep their royalties and keep their profits which in terms may only be two dollars five dollars even ten dollars after a few months for some of these smaller artists but they didn't have to pay you 14 dollars to get that beat they got it for free so any money they make is technically profit for them so that's really good for an artist right now if you're giving out five free for profit beats right for an mp3 lease and say your mp3 lease costs 14 dollars boom five times 14 equals 70 right they're getting a lot of money worth of value and it's basically like me giving you a free pair of sneakers, right? You wouldn't turn that down. Is five times 14 actually 70? I said that very confident. Nice. Math. At the end of the day with free for profit beats, an artist got that beat for free, made their song, and now they make money and any money they make is profit. That is actual value. An artist just simply being able to listen to your beat on YouTube that's not value right that's not you know you can't say that listening pleasure is entertainment value now if you were to make a video like kyle beats or something where it's like a 10 minute video of him like showing you how to make a beat and like all this actual crazy stuff yeah that's actually entertainment value but your like you know beat preview or your sample pack preview that's not really listening value or, or really that much of entertainment right in order to get full access to what they want to do with it they have to buy it so I am terribly sorry if you take offense because you spend two hours mixing drums and making melodies. It's just at the end of the day, an artist still has to purchase it in order to get the actual value for them out of it. But of course, quality content is needed and you can't sell bad beats. I mean, you probably can with good marketing, but 
you really can't if you you know what i mean you, you can't just sell a terrible beat because artists won't be able to rap on it or they won't like it in the first place and yes many producers have built a big following on youtube without ever creating any engaging content or what i would consider to be engaging content but they did grind for years when it comes to uploading beats on youtube there are many big name YouTube producers who prove me completely wrong in this point. Ann Chamberlain started in 2016 and has over 600 beats posted. Othello Beats, over 300 videos and started in 2015. Tantu Beats, around 500 videos and started in 2007. Yes, you could get lucky and blow up overnight from your beats. That is completely possible. But that's almost like me going to the gas station and winning a million dollars off a scratch off lottery ticket. I'm not going to put all my faith just into that lottery ticket one day that I'm gonna win big. As a smaller producer, especially when you wanna do this for free, you need to make engaging content that people are seeking out to find information about so that way you can build up an audience, you can build up brand, and you can build up your awareness. Just to give you guys some quick numbers here, Ant Chamberlain gets over 1 million views a month on YouTube. People are very aware of him. He is in a great position for YouTube, the YouTube algorithm, and he has a lot of leverage as a top producer. Also, in terms of ad spend, if you wanted to spend enough money to get the same amount of views he does in a month, it would cost you around $20,000 if you were averaging about two cents per video view. Organically, he is getting a value of 20 grand a month. That is insane, guys, that is insane. So now let's backtrack, right? How do we actually make this content? Well, the first thing you guys need to do is think about what does an artist need? Some quick ideas I can think of off the top of my head are things like vocal presets, mixing tip for vocals, maybe explaining, you know, rhyme schemes or different rhyme patterns or different things that an artist would find interesting. So I know what you're thinking, Ryan, I'm not a graphic designer. How the hell am I going to make or design this content? And the answer is Canva. So Canva, I've mentioned this before for like creating tight beat videos on Instagram for like previews and whatnot, right? It's really dope. There's a ton of YouTube content out there. They give you templates to start out with. It's pretty easy to use and it's simple. It's like drag and drop text editor builder. It's simple. You'll figure it out. Number two is get yourself out on video and actually explain these things, right? Make YouTube shorts. If you have haven't heard about YouTube shorts I don't know what to tell you just go and watch my videos on YouTube shorts look at IG reels right do TikTok videos I know it might seem corny to you guys but these are great ways to build people and build up an audience on all these different platforms and then you know if you're getting okay so let's break this down let's say you're getting 100 views from TikTok a month 100 views from Instagram reels and 100 views from YouTube a month that's 300 total people you've just reached and let's say that might be 50 more people you bring into your beat store, right? Over time, that adds up. And if you wanna do this for free, you have to understand you're not gonna get the same results as if you were throwing $1 a day ads, $5 a day ads, or spending 20 bucks a day with ad revenue, right? When you're doing this completely for free, you are a little bit handicapped in terms of really what your potential reach is. You're just kind of hoping the algorithm gives you a break and, and blows you up pretty much, right? Tip number two, BeatStars playlist. Sadly, I don't think that Airbit or TrackTrain has a feature like this, although I might be completely wrong. I don't know if you use Airbit or TrackTrain, look for it. Um, I don't use those platforms, so I can't help you out there. But basically, right, how do these playlists help? So let's take a quick little jump into the timeline of me as a producer. So back in May, like early May, maybe late May, I bought a BeatStars account. Then in October, I said, I'm done with it. I want to get my own website for SEO and full control. So I deleted my BeatStars and lost all of my stats. I think I had around like 300 followers and over maybe 15,000 plays on BeatStars. It looked pretty good. I'm not going to like it looked pretty cool. It looked good. A lot of social proof, right? But I deleted it all. So I uploaded my beats onto a different website and used a different MP3 player to then host my beats and play them. And I used WooCommerce to sell my beats. What I quickly learned is that it wasn't as convenient as before and artists weren't familiar with the process of buying a beat. Although it was simply just like buying a t-shirt, it's still not what artists were used to when it came to buying beats online. And that's the big thing with marketing, right? That you have to understand is even if somebody's a little bit hesitant or confused, that can drive them away from even free downloading a beat or buying a beat in the long run, right? So I figured I need to go back to BeatStars. I need to get back to what artists are used to and what artists are comfortable with doing. So that's what I did. Anyways, over the summer, my one beat got put into a Kanye West and a hip hop beat playlist. 
and I got around 5,000 views within, I think, around two or three months, which is pretty much insane. Here's a shitty screenshot from the video I made on this before. I believe it's called like Free Beat Stars Promo. I covered this before, but it's before my channel really even blew up. I think I might have had like 150 subscribers, so probably nobody ever saw it. Of course, while you're not guaranteed to be put into these playlists once more, when we're doing this for free, we have to kind of play by the rules of others and we are handicapped in terms of what our reach really is. And we're basically hoping these platforms do most of the work for us. Tip number three, give call to action. I've been giving out call to actions a little bit everywhere in this video, right? It's exactly what it sounds like. I'm calling you to do a certain action. Leave a like on the fucking video. That is a call to action, although it really wouldn't work for, you know, this type of video or even a beat video on YouTube. You might find something like this would actually work better. So what I did is a few months ago, right, once more, when I was a little nobody here on YouTube with probably like 80 subscribers, um, I was making ad templates for producers for their sales funnel and I was making call to actions. And I guarantee you a lot of producers looked at it and were like, what the f is this? What it is, is it's for BeatStars and Airbit, and you can put these onto your YouTube videos in a video editor, you can put them onto your Instagram videos in a video editor, and it basically just pops up on the side of the screen and it says, download this beat or purchase this beat today. We're giving the artist a call to action to either download or purchase this beat. As a producer uploading your beats, most of the artists are actually on mobile devices. And what that means in terms of YouTube is that they can't actually see the description. They have to actually click and open the description up to see your description. We need to give them a reason to click open that description and go to our beat store. And a call to action can do that. Same thing with Instagram, right? We need a call to action for somebody to then bounce onto our profile. We need somebody to then click on our link in our bio and then go to our beat store. But luckily, there's a platform out there called link name, which gives you a dope landing page. And let me show you guys what all you can do with this. You can sign up with the affiliate link in the description. And for $4 a month, you can get all these features, like giving the option to buy beats from this landing page, from Airbit, BeatStars, TrackTrain. You can also include YouTube videos, Apple Music, Spotify, and even direct email signups. It's a really dope platform made specifically for musicians and music producers. A lot of you guys have signed up already, and I think it is extremely worth it for for the four dollars a month because like i said you can literally buy a beat from this page you can even put a facebook pixel on this page which is dope so what i want you guys to understand right is when you're doing this for free you are handicapped and you don't get the same amount of reach you don't get the same amount of impressions you don't get the same results even if you were running one dollar a day ads on facebook or instagram so if you do want to learn how to do that it is on the page for the free beat selling course i highly recommend you guys go ahead check it out even just check out the free course you don't have to buy the bundle i guarantee the free course is going to drop some knowledge on you as well so i'll see you guys and probably i don't know i'm gonna do my next video if you guys have any video uh suggestions please make sure to comment them and once more all sales from the producer prospect are going to go towards me getting a new camera and maybe i'll look cuter for you guys with a new camera i <laughs> i'll see you guys later